Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is the Let's Play of City Skylines in the town of Animalia. What are we going to do? We did a little bit of tinkering, I think, this episode. We did some major structural work, and I've just got my eye of just trying to fix out some of the little bit of the problems we've got with some of our traffic and the likes. So, this is turning into a bit of a troublesome junction. Um, not the happiest about how it could potentially be going. I mean, I'd like it to be an awful lot smoother in terms of its traffic and flow and the rest of it. So I'm trying to work out how we could get it a little better. Um, obviously, maybe stripping the traffic lights out would be good. I mean, this is not its not a long section or a short section, but it appears to be it's blocking up enough of the traffic that people aren't moving in. I mean, the fact that we've got this lane change here probably isn't for the best. So, for starters, let's get our upgrade button out and upgrade that road to a larger size and that one as well. And then probably do the same along here so that we've got just a little bit more extra capacity along here. So that should screwly sort themselves out a little bit. Yeah, they're doing their business. So hopefully the extra capacity should just help that clear out and stack up just a little bit better. What's this right for? Oh, it's just a small little commercial junction. Um, let's resolve the possible problems with that by adding in a road in the middle of it rather than one on the end. Just to space these junctions out just that little bit more. And then carry on with the upgrading of this road. There we go. Get that a little neater and a little tidier. This is an industrial tree area. You should have probably some trees. So that appears to be reasonably clearing out that little problem there because now it's just a little bit extra space. Let's move the trouble on just a little bit further, but mostly just appears to be working. This junction, however, is of interest because the building is burnt down, yes, very nice. I want to make sure that we've got as good a throw through through here as possible. So I don't really want people getting stuck waiting when I want goods getting in and out of the city. That said, there's what you call a lot of pile up here. It just needs to tuck in. Yeah, it's just kind of busy. So, right, that's that good. Where else have we got lots of traffic? Well, mostly everywhere. But generally, it's not like you end up in a queue for very long. He says, glaring at possibly one of the biggest traffic snarls that he has in the city, which is this junction here, where everything kind of shunts in and out and around. Is it worthwhile me putting a dedicated routes in here at all. Well, something we could do, given this has got an awful lot of transport hubs in the area, is we could look at putting in some kind of bridgeway or some sort for our pedestrians. So, is... Yeah, that is a step, slope that is too steep. I'll agree with you there, game. So that's a 12 high slope. Let's switch it to 3 high. No, can't get across. Six high? No. Nine high. Can get across. Okay. So, and then put that connection over there. Can you, will you let me do six high in some places? No, it's because of the shape of the land, apparently. Alright, so that's the beginnings of that in. Now we've got to try and find a way of getting it down onto ground level in a rational manner. Nope, that's going underground. That's on the ground, so you can actually walk in that way. Is that on the ground? No. That's not on the ground. Slope too steep, apparently. Down one. Uh, I had the snap on. Down two. 
Crown Devil, if you please. Okay, so that's a bit of a weave, but it means you can get from this station to here without actually having to touch filthy, filthy tarmac. And then what's the closest we can get to the shortest yep, ground floor there, so just weaving that little connection in just a little bit easier. The bus station is huge. It really is quite a beautiful little building. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how the connections are going to and from that, so that's going to help a fair little bit. Hmm. I wonder. Slope too steep, you say? Uh, I moved that police station previous, didn't I? Stop moving it again. There we go. Come down here, and then you can go under there, and you end up behind the bus station. Which connects into there. Nice. Still got quite a lot of industrial demand, but now we've got at least some kind of subterranean road network. People are using it. Most people are apparently still just using the crossings. I suppose because they're simple and a bit easier, or pe some people using them. Maybe just wait for them and see how the pathing adjusts over time. Right. It's probably because they are actually technically a, a bit slightly longer than in the other routes, but hmm. There are little spots and civilians doing it and moving it, so we'll just leave that be for now. Train lines. Interesting. I suppose it's not holding up for too long. I don't really have the space to just run this on further. And I do like having a large station here. I approve it. We were checking out traffic problems. So yeah, there's moving back and forth, I suppose. It's quite an important hub road here. I use this for new building. Yes, thank you. I use this for looping my traffic around, just moving people back and forth. Yeah, it's just busy. It's just going to be busy. It's not snarled up too badly, but it is just kind of busy. Anywhere else we've got a lot of traffic. Yeah, right about. Right about is moving. It's quite busy along the ocelot ways, but it's mostly just a bus going back and forth. This junction is snarling up a little bit. There are lights here. Okay. Well, that's caused that turn there is causing this to back up quite badly. So you've got people coming off from here. Ideally, should just be going this way, so... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If you want to be going that way, you really should be using one of these sub-roads. So, I am quite tempted indeed to make this... Out only. And take a while for the traffic. Oh, here comes the rain. Take a while for the traffic to sort itself out. Hmm. Now I've got a problem. Everyone who's basically joined this roundabout is essentially trying to get over here. But I've got an out road that goes there. So I've got basically people crossing over. So goodbye. And I will 
I'll leave that be, I think. I don't need the industrial capacity just yet. Or do I want to swing it the other way around? Do I want to swing it the other way around? Off there, in there. Hmm. Yeah, I've got people crossing over. So let's grab that, grab that tool, reverse that in terms of a direction. What do I should look at? Maybe just reorganize this entire thing. I got pretty happy with the incoming of the roundabout, and then it just connects up. So, what was the original problem? I was just getting some traffic starting up. Because people couldn't work out what was the best way of getting where they needed to go. There were people who want to get over here. Being caught by people who want to turn in this way. Hmm. This has out. There's plenty of space. Okay. What do we have other than our usual typical snarl up? I think what I will do is grab traffic president. Not mining traffic lights. Switch traffic lights. Do not have any lights there at all. Just get people out and moving. Alright, so that's really weird. I've got people coming in here. And then they were turning right and joining the motorway. Rather than going down here and coming around. That's more than a little bit weird. That is just flat out strange. Um, so one of the things we can do to affect that is changing the lane arrows to not let you turn that way. This is left only. Go down there. Do not need people peeling off like this. Coming around, coming off this junction, and then going that way. You should be coming in on this route if you want to get over here. Weird and strange. Right, that'll take it sort. That'll sort itself out over time. Do I have anywhere else that particularly need to buy new land? Yes, I know. Adjusting the traffic. There's the usual massive snarl up here. But oh, that's apparently parked cars. A few trucks here and there. <laughs> this traffic is just buses. Endless, endless amounts of buses. You guys over here aren't complaining of having no customers anymore, which I note, which is nice. Garbage problems. Which is odd, given I've got garbage incinerators all the way just down over here. Which reminds me, we are empty. Which means I can delete you. And you are in the process of emptying. Okay, fine. So something we could do is something I had a thought about previously. Build more industrial, yes, I will do in a moment. Is getting this on a straight line, connecting to there, and then what we can do is we can use traffic restrictions to ban all apart from service vehicles. I'm assuming that must be taxis. Those are heavy trucks, those are buses, those are normal cars, service, yeah, okay. And applying that so that our network of these guys can now suddenly get better access to over here which means I can potentially move these incineration plants 
off this stretch of road and replace them with a little bit more industry. And let's just double check my district it does encompass them. Yep. It's slightly more pleasant, I think. And this is apparently unsnarling itself a bit. Obviously, there's an awful lot of the traffic coming in and weaving around like this was causing a lot of the problems. So that's helping. Now we do have a bit of empty space over here, which could. potentially be filled with yet more logging. Right, yeah, so that's kind of sorted itself out. Just by switching that off, I was getting a really odd routing with people coming in on these routes and then coming around to go over here rather than using this primary run. Very odd. I mean, to us, ideally, I shouldn't... People be coming off... There really shouldn't be any people turning left here. There should be absolutely no need for anyone to be turning left there. Anyone coming here should be coming around and going off that way. And so the whole point of this, that these extra routes are just to relieve traffic, but I suppose it's just all about making sure that these guys can move it around nicely enough. Getting extra access and extra discourse and discharge. Anyway, what's um. Oh, that's a burnt down ruin. Fine. I cannot. The space I don't mind too much about. Pollution is apparently okay. Crime gone. Yeah, just letting the rain fall on Animalia at the moment while we have a little bit of a tinker. So some of the other things we could potentially be looking at are our supplies of not that one. How are we doing for EGA? Alright, so we have lacking university space. And we are lacking high school availability. Incineration status is borderline at ah, sewage treatment and water. All right, so I wonder. I have been toying with the idea of trying to use some kind of canal-like system um, to essentially, well, dump the debris or the poop into a canal and then putting some kind of dam on the end of the canal. Thus, find a way of generating power from poo. There's something I could do, given that the, I don't quite know which way the water does. Is there a button here for the water flow? Yeah. So that's sucked into there by my pumping stations, but generally the flow is that way ish. Something I could potentially do is put a dam here, pump the poop in back here, and then drag my fresh water in from all the way over here. Hope the thing doesn't get bad that, but yeah, it's fine. We've got plenty of water flow through my dams all the way, so water availability and water treatment have gone back up. Garbage is piling up apparently. Yeah, okay. Now we've got a slight death wave. One way we can do about that then is we can drop in some more incineration plants that's pollution uh, let's move you over here and then we'll drop in a couple more incineration plants there and then we will probably add in a Nope, I just moved you to that position. Apparently, it's not where I wanted you. You're in somewhere weird. Yeah, stick you over there. No, it's a taxi depot. Let's stick you in. Just kind of a useless industrial building. Just be somewhere. You're not in my way. A lot of garbage piling up over here as well. Okay. Let's um, carry on what we were doing, which was adding in more incinerators. Ducks ahoy! Ducks ahoy! And 
don't just go into the system and start hauling garbage, thankfully. Fun and games. Right. That's been 20 minutes worth of tinkering. It's been a shorter, simple little episode today, ladies and gentlemen, because I've just been kind of tinkering and wondering what we're going to do next. I think, most likely, it's time to address that ridiculously large industrial demand with a new industrial district. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset, this has been Animalia, and this has been a short little Let's Play where I've been some tinkering on Animalia. I already said that. Mm. Please remember to like and subscribe.